Hey guys, Bradham73 here. Welcome back to another episode of Farming Simulator 19. As we, as I close my door in my office here, <laughs> I'm like trying to stretch to get the door to close. Um, let's see here. I don't really remember what we were doing in the last episode, so let's kind of tab around. Ooh, looks like we need to hire a worker here. I think... We were ma I think we were, let's see, that's for offloading that, oh, <clears throat> we had the uh, fertilization job, so we're going to continue on with doing that, only got 32, well, let's see, we might be done with that. Almost done, so we'll be we'll be done pretty much any second. And we've got this guy, so we were um, we were picking up the straw from the fields and selling that. We weren't getting tons of money for it, but hey. Okay, so contract on field five finished. Let's tab back to this guy since we don't want to waste any of that let's see harvesting Ooh, we got a harvesting mission on field 11 which we could do that can't do bailing though hmm so harvesting and harvesting Ugh. sunflowers i don't know if that's going to be worth the money to be honest so we got 30% fertilizer left, and I don't think we're going to have enough from field 15 to buy field 14. Otherwise, I would probably just buy it and join those two fields before we continue on. Uh, I don't know how long this episode is going to be. I know the last one was a little bit over a full hour. This one I don't think is going to be quite as long as, because, I don't know, I've just been super busy today and I was trying to squeeze this in. And, um, and I'm sipping my coffee. I'm actually still trying to wake up from this morning. Um, I slept horribly again last night, just had a lot on my mind I guess and you know <laughs> couldn't settle down and fall asleep so uh, story of my life huh but let's see here we could plant some canola along with the soybeans which would probably be a good idea okay so growing okay those fields are growing I'm just going to get this guy over here. So we got 4,600. Yeah, we're not going to have... What's barley selling for? 1,074 at the ranch. So, you know what? 10,000... 12,000 something. I don't know. So we're obviously not going to be able to purchase field 14. 16 would kind of be the one that I would want to go to right now, though, anyway. So I bought this really cool mod for my like, if you guys are following my De my Back to the Future DeLorean build, I bought this really cool mod where I can put, like, these lights on the outside of the car to make it light up more. And I, f I was under the impression that I was going to be able to make it work. Only now to find out that I need another mod to make it work. So I'm going to have to order that, I guess, later today. And... Um, yeah, not not so happy about that. But it is what it is, I guess. I 
and nothing I can do about it now. Um, but that's, you know, that's going to add like another week to two weeks um, delay. And so a little bit frustrated about that. Um, another thing is, is I'm real, I'm basically like <clears throat> about 80% to, to buying, <clears throat> excuse me, like all of a sudden my throat started clamming up. Um, no, I'm, I'm like 80 to maybe 85% on buying a wait what's going on here ah here we go on buying a 3d printer um i've been wanting one i've been wanting one really since they first came out but um there's a there are a few out now that are you know affordable and actually pretty easy to set up and use, which is, you know, obviously a, a huge selling point. And, and they're, the prices are coming down. Like, they're just, a, you know, two $300. And I thought, maybe I'll, I'll buy one and just kind of, like, you know, use it to do print, you know, some basic prints and kind of teach myself, you know, how to do it, you know, so that I can get better at it and print really cool models and maybe print some farm equipment and some spaceships from Star Citizen or, you know, whatever. <laughs> and then the last thing I need is another Millennium Falcon, right? Oh, I'll print that too. Um, but, uh, but no, in all seriousness, um, it is something, hello. It is something that I've been wanting to do for a long time. And um, I kind of just, I feel like the time is right. like the the resolution and the ease of use you know is something that you know it's to a point now where i think it's you know you can print out really awesomely detailed parts and that's that's essentially what i'm looking to do all right so 80 percent grain tank he might be able to finish that field off i don't know I don't know. Oh, you know what I should do? I should bring the cedar up. <laughs> should I look? Uh-oh. <laughs> I guess I pulled the, the top. Well, I, I, I guess I did because I wanted it to go faster. So, anyways... Also, today is like the first day of this year, of 2019, where it's been really hot. Like, I, it's, I think it's like 88 degrees outside right now, which isn't really ridiculously hot. Um, let me see, 88 degrees. I think that's around 30 Celsius. Let me, let me just look it up really quick. I'm going to do the, trying to do the conversions here in my head, and I'm, yeah, it's about 30 to 31 degrees Celsius, like somewhere in that, you know, somewhere in that ballpark. And so, um, so it's actually pretty warm out. So it's getting up there, which is nice. Um, I've heard that there's temperatures in the 40s in Europe today. I'm like, what in the world? Like they're having like record a record heat wave over there. And um uh, I mean, it's bound to happen. People are going to be like, "Oh, global warming," but you know, these are just the natural heating and cooling cycles of the earth. Um while I'm doing the Ooh, he is actually almost full. So we're going to have about 16,000. I don't think he's going to be able to do the whole thing here. Okay. 
Wait, where's my... Oh, you know what? I think I'm gonna have to use this guy for the cedar. So we'll, uh... We'll just drive him down to the farm. We're gonna pick up the cedar, bring it back up here, and we're gonna start seeding field 17. Whoa! Do we, wait, do we have to lime these fields? That's the no, that's another question too. Yeah, we're, uh, we're gonna have to lime field 17. Ugh. Well, it can't be helped, we gotta do it. Maybe I'll maybe I'll go ahead and start liming first. Fill this up really quick. And I think we're almost out of lime too, so we'll, we'll go we'll just do what we can do. Great demand at barn. What do, what is the great demand at barn for? Please say straw. That's straw. Um. Okay, it's the one with the down. Oh man, it's. Probably hay or grass or something. <sighs> yeah, we're almost out of lime on this guy too. So I'm kind of thinking, do I just want to go ahead and fill it up with, with lime? Uh, I'll just get it. I'll get, I'll get the ball rolling with what we have in here and then we'll we'll just go up to the biogas plant and refill with lime there that's probably the best the best i was going to say solution but that's not the best strategy there we go <laughs> Pull this up the hill. Yes, I can. Awesome. Okay. Geez, that took 4% right there. So uh, <laughs> we're going to be out of lime pretty pretty quick. So where is my... There it is. Well, let's just go to this guy. Oh my gosh, 32 whopping... <clears throat> Uh-oh. There we go. All right, so we got 18,000. 
And I think it was, I think we had to go up here to the ranch, right? For barley? Yep. And then the, um, the lime filling station is way off in the distance over there by the biogas plant and helper bee just stopped working. So he's done. So we'll get this guy up to the ranch. We'll start start offloading. While this guy's offloading, we'll tab over to <clears throat> our our tractor with the lime, and we will get that pulled. Or, you know, we'll get that filled up, start liming again, and then we'll bring this guy back down to the farm, and we'll pick up the seeder, and we'll go up and we'll start seeding the other fields. And then in the meantime, we'll have to. Um, you know, while, while I'm seeding and liming and all that fun stuff, I'm going to have to continue uh, picking up the straw in the fields. All right, so here we go. And offload. Ah, we were right there. Ah! We can kind of go down right here, I think. Hey, there's some cars. Was it like the last episode? I'm like, where's all the cars? Well, there's one, right? Chair. All right, so we got 20,000. Not too bad. Ooh, I wonder if since we hit um, 12 o'clock, I wonder if there's any new jobs. Harvesting, uh, pretty much the same. I always like the uh, fertilizing jobs because, you know, you can hire a worker. You're always going to make money uh, doing them. You know, even though you have to spend money on the fertilizer, you're always going to make money doing them. Maybe unless they're, like, really cheap ones. But, no, I think even then they're, you know, you're still going to make money. Okay, so he's going to fill up. We'll at least be able to kind of get this guy rolling. Because it actually takes quite a while for the lime to, to fill up. There we go. It cost us $2,500. I'm just going to pull in right up here. And we will uh, tr you know, go back over to the other tractor. And bring him back over and get him liming. go all right hey we can borrow money again maybe I had to log out you know save my game and then log back in again to get that to work again or to reset the the bank balance or i don't know maybe we just had to wait for the next hour i thought we did that but maybe not because i haven't paid any money back and we've purchased two fields i think since we did that last and i'm just kind of gonna go up the thing here 
So let's see. We got forty-six thousand. Let's see how much more money we can. Ooh. Ooh. A lot more. Whoa. So we're we're over a million dollars in debt right now. Um, but that's okay. We'll be able to make that money back fairly quickly. Not really too terribly worried about it at the moment. Now, one thing I am going to have to check, though, is do I have do I have a plow that I can that I can use? Garage. says we have one of these. Does the key mean I own that? I'm assuming so, because when I go to the garage, let's see, space, leased. Oh, I've leased. <gasps> I've leased this? Really? That is probably cost. That's probably pretty expensive. This is not so much. The gens. I just want to see... How much the gens is costing me every day? Three thousand. That's not terrible. I get. I don't guess. Um, but what I do want to do, since we can get the money, and uh, let's see what's growing on this field. Sunflowers, great. Um, I do want to buy field 16. How much money do I, and we do have enough to buy field 18. Ooh, tempting. Kind of get this guy moving. Because if we can string those fields together, we're going to have a really nice big field that we'll be able to, um, you know, we'll be able to plant soybeans on, and it's going to give us a really nice kind of jump start on making tons of money. <clears throat> and then next, after this... We're going to have to look at a, a larger combine, too. So I'm going down to pick the cedar up right now. Or should I? Uh -huh. I kind of feel like I should bring the uh, uh, the plow up with this tractor. Change the wheels out. We'll put some uh, big tires on it instead of these narrow ones. these here there's the plow up there all right oh no there's the plow over there what's that the oh that's the stump grinder all right wide tires with wheel weights we all we've already purchased these 
So it's not going to cost us anything. It's just like, you know, swapping out the tires. So I think I already purchased it, right? Yeah, I did, didn't I? All right. So we should be able to do this pretty quickly, I'm, I'm hoping. We've only got to lime the one section of the field for right now. Helper D has completed their task. Was that, is that the lime? I guess it is. Yep, that's the lime. So I'm gonna uh, pop up my menu here and I wanna hit Y. That's going to allow me to create fields, which is what I want for this next step. <clears throat> now I could even make the, you know, if I had a larger plow, we could actually kind of widen this closer to the road, but I'm not gonna do that right now. Maybe, maybe we'll do that, you know, later on, depending on how far we get on this map. But basically, I just want to join these fields up. We'll do about three rows up here. And then we'll go down to the other end. We'll do, you know, a few rows down there. And then we'll bring it, you know, just go back and forth until we're done. Usually, you know, it's two or maybe three passes. Let's see. Turn plow. Oh, no. Um, oh, I don't think this plow has any additional controls. All right. Again, yeah, we don't have to. Well, we'll have to uh, uh, lime the the sections where we're plowing because you always have to re-lime after you plow. Just how it, just how it's done, I guess. that and let's go so as you can see this is really easy um, and instead of having four separate fields which you know you might want to do I don't you know I, I'd rather have one large contig contiguous field or continuous if you want to use that word um, just so that I can have larger fields and uh, not have things broken up um, as much. And hopefully we'll be able to do this and 
be done with this section. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we'll be able to get this done in this next pass, and then we'll move up to the other section up there. Okay. So come right up here, put the plow down. If we need to go a little bit farther left. We'll do three again on this side. All right. And off we go. Now I think down at this end of the field, like the two different fields don't really line up perfectly, so, which isn't a big deal. We'll um, just have to get a little bit, you know, more creative. Not a big deal. So we'll just kind of, let's see here. Just like that, and I think that looks pretty good. All right, so we'll be done with this in just a moment. We'll be able to run down, get the uh, cedar, and then we'll be able to continue on with um, picking up the straw. And we'll just get as much as we can. If the cedar runs over some of it, like this line here, I'm not really going to be too bothered with it. And we're done. Okay. Oh, now when you're finished, be sure whoops, to hit Y again to you know limit your field sizes. That way you don't accidentally lower your plow and then you know damage your fields. Now I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave the plow up here. So I'm just gonna, you know, park it right here next to the road and hopefully I'll put it out in the sun, so hopefully I don't forget about it. Because we're going to need it to join um, Fields 14. and uh, I don't want to do Field 14 right now because it's got a different crop on it. 
And I need to see what's going on with field 18. Let's see here. 18. Looks like it's got potatoes. I should have washed the tractor, but... Alright, so let's see how much... I think I filled this up. Did I fill this up the last time we... Uh, no, I guess I didn't. Well, that's no big deal. <gasps> Where's my front weight? What did I do? Oh, no. <laughs> How did I miss... I see the front weight down here now. How did I miss that? All right. Uh, we should do the repair on the cedar. Oh, yeah, big time. Um, making sure that your cedar is, like, in full repair mode. Not mode, but, you know, it's fully repaired. Basically, it increases the efficiency. So the, the more maintenance that you have to do on the cedar, the less efficient it is. So things like cedars and lime spray spreaders and... Excuse me, fertilizers, even your harvesters. You want to make sure that you keep up on them. Ah, excuse me. Gosh, I keep like burping. I'm drinking coffee, that's why. Um, <laughs> but you want to keep up on the maintenance to make sure that you're maximizing your, you know, your your money, not only in in seeding and you know fertilizing, uh, but also in harvesting. So. Pro tip there for you guys. Now, I don't think I'm going to be able to get all the seeding done in this episode because we've got probably, I don't know, maybe a little over 20 minutes left to go. So, um, fairly sure it's going to take longer than 20 minutes to do the rest of the field. But that'll kind of let me um, go and we'll, we'll take a look at field 18. We're going to see what's on there. If it's potatoes, I don't know. I, you know, I like to buy a field when a, there's a crop on it that's ready to harvest. And, um, you know, this dark brown, that definitely looks like, really? That, is that potatoes? Yeah, it's potatoes. So, uh, maybe I won't buy it. Or we can buy it and we can seed over it. That's the other thing. But we're, you know, we're kind of spending a little bit more money because we have to reseed it. So, this is kind of the way that goes. All right. Soybeans selected. That's what I want to seed. And we'll just head down this way. <clears throat> we will... Um, We'll go down by the tra the railroad tracks under the bridge. That'll kind of bring us out by field 18. We can kind of just go over there and take a look at it. And then we'll be able to drive up and uh, sell the straw. And Or actually, we can come back that way. Now I could also probably buy field 23. Or not. 
That's like two hundred and two thousand dollars. I didn't think it would be that much. Oh, another thing I'll, I'll show you guys really quick. Um, I did install that barn mod, but I think it's just a selling point. I don't think you can actually store straw there. Um, so let's see. Let's go ahead. Um, I'm, it's probably going to be in miscellaneous. It might not be, but yeah, here they are. Deluxe, Edge Deluxe Barns. Now these things are beautiful. Um, they're rather large. So you can kind of see like if we were to replace our barn over here, it's about the same size as this, as our old barn. And let's see here. On, you know, I think this is the same barn from Farming Simulator 17, I want to say, or maybe it was 15. Uh, no, maybe, maybe no, Farming Sim 17. I think I think it is, or it's very similar to it. Um, nice clean barn that works as a selling point for straw. So it's only a selling point. I would love to have a barn like this for bar for storage, but for fifty thousand bucks, we can have a straw selling point right there at our main farm. So that's pretty cool. All right, so we've got sunflowers up here. Yeah, I can I can see that's definitely potatoes over on field 18. We could buy it right now. We would have yet another field that we could um, that we could make money on, but uh, I just don't think. If I buy it, I would definitely plant over it. And that's just kind of a decision, I guess, that I'm going to have to make. And it is 171000 So we've only got 180000 Doesn't leave us a lot of money as far as um, planting and all that kind of stuff goes. We would also need to lime the field. So I don't know. I'm just kind of thinking right now, like, what do I want to do? I just, I don't know. I love these John Deere's. Oh, there's like a John, John Deere 9RT mod uh, that just came out. I think it recently, I, I want to say it was earlier this week, but I, it might have been longer ago than that. So I don't want to say something and then it be wrong. Um, but it did come out recently. And actually, I think I might get that mod. If not for this series, um, probably for sure for my multiplayer server. Oh, before... Oh, no. Okay. He's gonna have to spray some lime over uh, some of the, the planted stuff, but that's okay. It's not gonna affect anything. You can actually lime over crops, I think all the way up through to the final growth stage. Let's go spray this right here. 
this little bit right here. Got a little bit of straw that we can pick up over here, and then we'll kind of have to concentrate on picking up the straw down. Yeah. No! Ah, shouldn't have stopped. I hit B instead of V. That was my problem. Oh well. So we'll get a little bit of straw here, a thousand or so. For 2,000, wow. I honestly didn't think we would get that much. So I just want to get some of these lines out of the way as the other, uh, or as the cedar kind of moves its way across the field. This field's going to be pretty huge. I mean, usually I seed this with a big bud, you know, like on my multiplayer uh, map or my uh, live stream map. Yeah, it's a huge field. I get for trying to send a text. I got people like texting me and I'm like trying to, trying to uh, answer back. Oh, I thought my uh, cedar was stuck back there for a moment. It looks like he freed himself. We're going to have to run the, uh, uh, the, the, <laughs> the lime down here. We're getting pretty close to needing that. So let's, uh, let's turn this around. We're going to be full here in just a moment. Five, ninety-six, ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine, full. All right. So we'll just kind of pull him over here. And then where is my limer? Whoops. Oh, his engine was still going. Not that that's a bad thing. And, the, and again, the only reason I'm liming this is because, you know, so I can get, so I can maximize the growth. Because um, I don't know exactly when I'm going to have to lime these fields. 
I might, I, I might be able to get a couple growth stages out of them before I'm going to have to relime them. But I, I, it, who knows? I might have to lime them immediately, like the very next growth stage. So, but I'd rather you know maximize what I'm putting down for right now, just to make the most money on the crop. All right, so we're done there. And now I really have to decide whether or not I want to buy field 18. I want to. I just don't know how much seed I'm going to have left. And then we've got to, you know, fill the cedar up. And the field's not incredibly big as it is. Plus, I'm going to have to move the tree or the chipper down there. We're going to have to cut a bunch of trees down again. And I mean a bunch. There's probably... I don't know. There are several trees that we will definitely have to cut down. Let's just put it that way. Uh, the good thing about that is we don't have a long way to go to get it up to, to get the trees up to the, um, the cell point up here. So that's not... That's the good news. And it would make sense to do it now because that's going to just maximize our growth. And I don't mind being in debt. You know, people are going to be like, oh, you're, you're in debt, blah, blah, blah. Well, as long as you manage the debt, it's not going to be an issue. Like, I'm expecting it. The, the daily fees associated with the loan aren't really that incredibly bad. So I'm not worried about that. That's the least of my worries. So for other people that are worrying about it, I just say don't. Um, it, you know, as long as you manage your debt properly, you're not going to run into problems. But if it's your first time playing, you know, a lot of people just max out their debt and buy the biggest piece of equipment. Um, but sometimes, lar you know, the biggest of one thing bottlenecks you um, from doing other things, you know, from doing all the things that you need to do to make money, like fertilizing and liming and weeding. Um, now, if you have those things turned off, obviously, I don't think it makes a difference. Um, I think it just, you know, automatically adds those bonuses in as far as I'm aware. Uh, but if you if you're doing if you're playing this game realistically, where you have you know plowing turned on, you know where you have to plow after you know corn and everything, corn and sunflowers and I'm trying to think of the other crops. There's a few different crops that you have to plow um, the, your fields after you plant those. Then. Um, yeah, you're going to need, you know, you're going to want to do all those things because it's essentially going to double your uh, your crop output. Okay, so he's still moving around down there. Let's turn on our picker-upper here, our for forage wagon. Picker. It's not a picker-upper. It is a picker-upper. What am I talking? Who am I kidding here? Oh, he's still got a quite a ways to go, so... All right. I like to do every other row like this because it's easier to line up. Like you don't have to make super sharp turns every time. And I'll do like maybe three rows. So I did the first row, this is the second row. And I'll do the third row and then I'll come back and do this first row Sec, you know, the, the first and second alternate rows. Another thing we could do is we could buy a bigger uh, forge wagon. But with this smaller tractor, I don't know. I want to say this thing's only like 160 horsepower. Oh, whoop. Well. So 
so yeah, let's go back. Let's just look at our um, growth and the soil comp. So uh, if we take fertilization off everything, there's a couple little spots we probably missed, the hired worker missed um, doing the liming, but that's okay. That's not gonna, you know, massively affect how much money we're gonna make. Oh, we've got still got the little divot there in the field. Um, I can actually smooth those out uh, with the terraforming, but then we have to come back in with a plow. And right now it's not a huge priority. Plus, you kind of need a big plow in order to um, maximize. Or, well, to, yeah, to maximize the. Uh, <laughs> The speed at which you can replow the fields, because you can't just seed over it again. You, you actually have to uh, plow. Because actually, the um, the terraforming or the, the the landscaping tool will completely reset the terrain. I think it's to like a grassy pattern, or I don't know. It might it might depend on which one you choose, um, or which one you have chosen while you're you know, flattening or doing whatever you're doing. But um, I don't know. We'll, we'll have to think about that as well. <clears throat> so I think we're kind of coming up on an hour here. We only got to have a few minutes left. Ah. And um, so we'll sell this. We'll get this guy back up to the top of the field. Probably going to have to save our game and pick up from the next... Uh, pick up in the next episode once again. kind of funny how it in, how it empties out back to front well actually I guess it kind of would because the uh, if you see those red things down inside of the forage wagon they're they look like kind of like ladders um, they're basically like these metal bars that are on like a chain um, or like a chain link almost like a like a bicycle chain or a motorcycle chain that kind of a chain and um, the chain actually rotates and it pushes those bars back. So what it's actually doing is it's pushing all of the, uh, the straw or grass or silage or whatever you have in these things um, towards the rear so that it can expel, uh, expel that out the back. So that's essentially how these work. I'm sure a lot of you guys know that, but for people that don't, now you do. So I guess, yeah, it would kind of you know, empty in the front because it's constantly pushing everything towards the back. If that makes sense. <laughs> but yeah, I'd say we're making some pretty good progress here on the field and uh, or on the farm and we're going to have a nice big field ready to uh, harvest here in the next few over the next few episodes because we've got to do all the weeding we got to do all the fertilizing there's a lot of stuff that we're going to have to do and it's going to take a lot of time especially on a big whopping field like this we're going to want both of our tractors doing uh, weeding i think we do have two weeders um yeah so, and I think, I think this is going to, I think this load here is going to be the last bit of straw that I'm going to need, I guess, or I'm going to be able to pick up. Wow, it's just going, well, no, I guess we did have like half of a lane of straw there. It's like, wow, we're already almost 40% full. 
But I'll basically get this up to 100%. We might leave a little bit on the field. I'm not going to be too worried about it. We'll get this done. We'll, I'm going to get this done before the end of the episode. Or at least get the uh, our little Stroutman filled up here. Now, I am not a big fan of doing wheat and barley. Uh, unless, I, uh, unless I have animals that need the straw, that need, you know, maybe grass. If, you know, if you cut the grass... Um, but it mainly you're going to get the straw off of you know off of doing wheat barley, and I want to say oats too. You get you get the straw off the oats. I think you do. Um, you know if you're raising horses, the oats are going to be important for that, because they require the uh, they require oats as food. Now you can purchase oats, but why buy it when you can just pay an hour full? Um, yeah, why why buy the, the oat packages when you can just grow it. You know what I mean? Even on a small field, you know, if you buy the larger uh, horse barn, you're going to be able to do... You're going to be able to feed the, the horses at least for a couple days off of that one... Um, off of the one uh, harvest. So... Um, you know, you don't have to do oats all the time, but if you do, if you grow the oats and then you uh, pick up the straw off of those oats, you're going to be good. It's going to be awesome. And you can, you know, you use the straw for the cows. I don't think sheep use straw and you use it for the pigs too, for their bedding. So the, the pigs and the cows and the horses all use straw. Well, guys, I think that is going to be it for this uh, episode. I almost said issue. I'm not doing the, the DeLorean this time, I promise. Um, but, yeah, it's, that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you so much, guys, for watching and hanging out with me once again as I play Farming Simulator 19. As always, don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed hanging out with me once again. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know how I am doing in this game. If, I'm abs you know, if I suck at Farming Simulator, I'm so sorry. Um... <laughs> I think I'm, I'm think I'm pretty good. I've been playing it for years now. Um, and if you haven't yet to do so, please subscribe for this and many more videos. I will see you all next time. Bye for now.